Hi guys, spring is here and I am so excited to get back into the garden, get my green fingers really active. I'm looking forward to it so much. I want to do a little tour of my front garden uh, just to see what kind of plants actually survived the winter. So we've got lots of bluebells here growing randomly and uh, we've got a little calla lily here. This looks like some sort of lily as well. Uh, we've got a Virginia here. And lots of leaves, little weeds. <laughs> here we've got peonies. These, these peonies um, flower really big, massive pink flowers and they are so beautiful. They're gorgeous. I'll try to find a picture of it for you. And I've got some more bluebells here, lots of bluebells, lots of weeds. We've got a tulip here, actually, and another Virginia here. This was a lavender tree, which I separated last autumn from the garden, and I planted it here, but I think I've killed it because I can't see any new growth. So I don't think I did a very good job with that. In terms of the weeding, I'm not actually going to weed instead, instead um, well I might weed up some of the big ones, take those out, but I was thinking of mulching instead, so because I don't want to dig if I don't need to. Here's another Virginia here, we've got a Dianthus here I think, but it's not looking very healthy is it? So I might need to freshen this up a bit, maybe propagate it start it up again but there is one flower here growing nicely look at that another Virginia here this is a sedum it's um i think it's called ice plant this big growth that you can see is from last year uh, but all this new growth look at that all that is new growth and there's a broken piece here which I'll plant into a little pot and I think it should root actually so yeah this is really nice this one has um, really nice tiny star shaped pink flowers beautiful absolutely gorgeous um, they're star shaped or yeah they're like star little star shaped flowers really nice and then these are daffodil leaves I can't see any bulbs though so I'm not sure what's happening with that any buds okay so there's a, um, a bulb here you can see it so I'm not sure what that is but we've got another set of uh, another group of peonies coming up here this is getting quite big as well all of them are getting quite big so I was thinking of dividing them so I need to figure out how to do that and when got another Virginia here hasn't flowered yet this one's still got the tag there, so this is a campoon, campanula. I'm not sure what colour flowers it's going to give, white or blue, but any would be nice. Here's another colour lily. Got some new shoots coming up. This also has lovely new growth, look at that. We've got some new growth here as well. Here. This is a spotted laurel shrub. Look at that. Green and yellow, goldeny colored leaves. It's really pretty. Got some more tulips here. Can't see any buds though, flower buds. Another, another Virginia. And another group of peonies here, which is getting really, really big. Sorry about the noise. I'm actually on the main road. This is a hebe. It's quite a big look. And it's a variegated version, hebe. And uh, it does flower. And this stays uh, nice and fresh all winter, actually. This is another spotted laurel. I've grown it like a tree. Look, can you see? It's like a tree. I think it looks quite cool like this. I love the colour of the leaves. Look at that, nice and bright. This is another hebe, 
which has been flowering all winter. Look at that nice, beautiful pink, pinky purpley flowers. So this one has um, smaller leaves and they're plain green, whereas this one has wider leaves and it's a variegated version. And then at the bottom here, I have sedum palmieri. And these are fine all winter. And when I first got them, they were just green. And uh, I was told that they turn red after, but I wasn't sure how. But look, so in the sun, the edges of the leaves turn red. Look how gorgeous that is. And at the beginning, in the winter, they were all looking like this. Not very healthy, but now can you see all this new growth? Can you see all this new growth? Look how it looks gorgeous. And it flowers. Nice, cute little yellow flowers. Can you see the yellow flowers coming up there? So I can't wait for to see the flowers. So I've got three pots of these. And I've got a bit of ivy here. Ivy has a bad reputation for being quite invasive. But if you keep it in a pot and well trimmed, then I think they're quite cute. Look, look at these leaves, they're kind of heart shaped and got a little variegation on it. I like the shape of the leaves. And uh, yeah, so as long as you keep this well trimmed, as soon as you think that it's getting too big for you, just trim it. Easy peasy. And then I've got these planters here. Um, this is like a Christmas tree looking thing. I do have a name for it, but I've forgotten, so I'll put it up on the screen. Got another ivy here. Um, as long as I don't let it touch the wall, then it will be fine. And I might even uh, trim this actually because it's not looking very healthy, but I do like it. And then I've got a primrose here. Cottage cream it is. The cream coloured flowers with the yellow middle and the leaves. I like this the texture of the leaves and I've got another primrose here as well actually even though it's in the shade it's still giving me flowers look at that gorgeous and then I've got some snow uh, snowdrops here they're finished flowering now but I'm gonna leave these leaves here for at least six weeks or so because the leaves still photosynthesize and um, it sends all the energy back into the bulbs so that when it grows again next spring it will grow really nice Look, that's where all the flowers were they were absolutely gorgeous and you know what I like about snowdrops when snowdrops start emerging you know that winter is about to end and spring is about to come and it's really exciting it's really exciting and also daffodils these are Narcissus daffodils. And uh, look, it's about to come out. Can't wait for that to open. This is, I forgot the name of this, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and then on this side, I've got exactly the same thing, really. So this daffodil is already open up. Look how gorgeous that is. Ooh. And they've got some primroses here same color as the other side look at that look at that beautiful and some more snowdrops oh I think someone's taken a bunch of these you know because I don't remember leaving a gap like this so someone's taken some of my snowdrops that's a shame isn't it anyway got another ivy here this one's not looking very healthy either look so I might give that a trim as long as it's not attaching itself to the wall and it's contained in the container I don't mind having a bit of ivy and then we come onto this side this is a cordelin red star I think it's called it originates from Australia I think but look at these gorgeous coloured leaves I went to the garden centre yesterday and I saw I know that they have green versions but I saw a pink version, it was so beautiful. So I might um, replace this with the pink 
the pink version because I've had this for quite a few years now so I think it would be nice to have a different color and then there's lots of space here to uh, plant little bedding plants so I'm gonna do that got some more narcissus uh, daffodils growing on either side here another red star these uh, I'm not sure what they're called I've forgotten um, oh, what is it called anyway I'll put it up on the screen these are uh, Bellis Novis Novis or something like that but look at the look at these flowers guys look at that how gorgeous is that color you see absolutely adorable look at that <laughs> and then we have some chrysanthemums here so this one's a mixed pot I'm going to have um, yellow and white ones here and then this one I'm going to have small pink ones and here I'm going to have um, lots of maroon ones and there's something going on with the leaves I need to find out why this is happening to the leaves it doesn't look very healthy I'm going to take those off but yeah and then here I think this is Dianthus so I'm not sure but inside are dahlia tubers which haven't come out yet but they should be coming out soon so I'm looking forward to that and that is a tour of the plants in my front garden okay this is my front garden And so I'm really looking forward to tidying this up, moving some things around, dividing some things, um, getting rid of things that I think might be dead. <laughs> I'll give it a chance and see if it grows. I might do some weeding. I'm going to do some mulching, definitely. I'm going to do some propagating. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thanks for joining me on this little front garden plant tour. I might do one of my back garden soon. Um, but yeah, I am really really looking forward to spring. I can't wait for these peonies to come up Massive dark pink flowers absolutely gorgeous Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you for today and uh, I'll see you next time